I moved. Music Guy 101 messaged me asking me to do a video about earworms. Well, Joey, your wish is my command. We're going to be talking about earworms while I'm in the midst of moving. Let's get this thing started. The Heim. Now, according to the Oxford Dictionary, an earworm, also known as a brain worm, is a catchy piece of music that continuously plays in your head even after the song is done playing. The word earworm is actually borrowed from the German language called Ohmworm. This is also called musical imagery repetition, involuntary musical imagination, or simply put, stuck song syndrome. All right, so here's a question. How the hell do we get rid of an earworm? Earworms were like mental farts, but I actually think they're more like mental herpes. You know why? They never go away. And they're <laughs> catchy. As a musician, I always have a song stuck in my head the way life for me is a constant pitch and rhythm. But this is what I did. I got rid of earworms by how I learned a <laughs> instrument. Guitar, I went to ultimateguitar.com. Not an endorsement, I just really like the website. And that's how I got songs out of my head is I learned the songs. Also, research has shown if you occupy your brain with other things such as Sudoku, even chewing gum, and other things to break the repetition, that will help. Morgan, what fun things do you like to do to get your brain stimulated? Oh, you know what fun things I like to do to get my brain stimulated, amongst other things. You need Jesus. Anyway, this is day two of moving, and we are in the complex, but we're waiting for the door to open. So we are in the party. <laughs> Parting words for now. They don't hurry up. I'm about to pee in their yard. This is my place. You don't get to mark my territory. You don't own it. You're renting. You are a horrible person. Yeah, Another way to get rid of an earworm <laughs> Hot. is physical exertion. I can tell you, I don't have a song in my head right now. The only thing I 96 degrees outside. Now, why is it that we get earworms? There's been all sorts of different kinds of speculation on why an individual would get an earworm. Now, research shows that 98% of people have had this kind of earworm or brainworm at one point in their lives or another. Now, one of the theories on why people get brainworms or earworms is that music by nature can be very repetitive. Let's think about most pop music. Most pop music has the same two to four chord standard progression. In addition, lyrics. Lyrics in nature tend to be a little bit repetitive. Let's think about the verse, the chorus, and the bridge, also with that same melodic structure. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. All right, we're driving. I've been doing a lot of that this week. And we're going to be driving more and more and more because that's what you do when you move. You move and you drive. Brain scans show is when an individual is singing about a song that the regions in the brain involved with speech production start to fire up with the expectations to process a song like in a speech development. For example, let's think of the Andy Grammer song, um, Honey I'm Good, Na Na, Honey I'm Good, Honey I'm Good, Honey I'm Good. Again, it goes back to that same repetition and you get that same kind of speech pattern. All right, so that is an earworm or a brainworm, or I think I like my new one, musical mental herpes. I am about to start my junior year as a music major and I am extremely excited about that. I will be posting in probably the next few months different recital videos for me singing opera arias, art songs, leader, melodies, things of that nature. So. Oh, don't judge me, I've had a long day. <laughs>